All right, so I'm out here at Shawnee Mission Park. I got a whole new bag of Texas plastic. Got Lone Star discs. Last time I was out here with Trilogy Plastic, I shot four under par. We're gonna see how I can shoot with a whole bag of Lone Star. The pin locations are a little bit more difficult than last time, but the weather is also a lot nicer. Last time it was like below freezing, so see how it goes. Let's get it. Out of position, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. That's too low. Ah, it's a little tighter. That'll be fun. Oh, nope. Tried to channel my inner Brody. Did not work. All right, so like I said, I got Lone Star Discs here. They did send these out for me to review. They aren't sponsoring the video though, so all these thoughts are my own. I'm still throwing them. I'm not swayed in any way to say anything specific about these discs, but a huge thank you to Lone Star. You guys are awesome for sending me out, sending out these and just trusting me and my channel, so. But initial impressions, I've, I've found that they have like a few different types of plastic. And I, I really like them. It's basically a little quadrant of four here. And you've either got your base plastics or your, your base, or not the base, then premium, base plastics and your premium plastics. Then you've got either gummy or stiff, which I think like one is simple and two, like that's great in my opinion. So they're, they're premium plastics. They've got like either a Bravo or Alpha. The Bravo is a little more gummy, Alpha nice and stiff. So like premium plastics, you got Bravo gummy. Alpha stiff. Then you've got, you go to your base plastics, the spider on my putter. Then you got your base plastics and you've got either V1 or V2, which I think it's like Vec Victor, Victor 1, Victor 2. Uh, so uh, V1, more gummy, which got an armadillo. There was a guy on my bird video who was like, you gotta try the armadillo out. Well, I got three of them now, so gonna try them out. And I think I'm gonna make a video out of them. They're pretty solid. But any, yeah, V1, got your gummy, V2 is a little bit more stiff. So it's it's nice and simple and it's just, in my opinion, I think that's great because that's what that's what people like. They don't care if it's like a champion or star or, or whatever, like they just want, is it stiff or is it gummy? And is it durable or is it not? So that's the, it has, they've simplified it to that. You got your premium, base, gummy, stiff. So that's pretty cool, so. Straight money, baby. Straight money. Get it? I, uh, it's a straight understable putter and it's a, it's a penny. Straight money. Bad joke. But for real, these two discs are awesome. Like the, the punny, the punny putter. The penny putter, like it feels really good. It's almost like a slightly like a touch deeper Luna. So like if the Luna, how's it going? So if the Luna is like a little bit too shallow for you, it feels a little bit small in your hand, but something like a P2 feels something feels a little too deep or a Warden, this thing is like perfectly in between those. It feels really good and it's just like, it's also cheaper and probably more available, easier to find than the Luna is because the Lunas are expensive because they've got some guy named Paul Macbeth's name on them, but these they feel good. They're nice and tacky too. So it's almost like, it almost feels like a, like an eraser blend, uh, stiff eraser blend type plastic. If you've ever felt like the wizards eraser blend for before with gateway. And then there's this Texas Ranger, like, and the stamp, look at that, that stamp, that stamp is sick. Like I'm totally making a video out of this. Cause this thing is just a beautiful, like it feels like a rock or a rock three. It has a smaller diameter, like a rock but it's just, it's just like a, like a beat up rock. It's beautiful. Like, and if this beats up a little bit more for like my flippy rock, like this could be like a go-to 
mid-range for a lot of people who don't want to spend the time to beat up a rock a rock three they just want something that's a premium plastic that is an understable rock three this thing this thing is so good so good the warbird it's an overstable destroyer see how it fights the wind it's like breeze so but i don't know the other discs to know if they're gonna fight it enough i just know this will for sure Boy. Last time I was in this similar spot, but I was over there, so I had a much wider gap to hit. So we'll see how this goes. Get past it. That'll putt. I'm good with it. Not that I should have made that like 40, 45 foot putt, but I shouldn't have, one, I didn't even give it a good bid, and two, I shouldn't even have been there in the first place. I should have just had a better, better upshot. So it should have been a three. What do you think? Oh gosh. Fuck. What do you think? I'll take that bird. That curl is really flippy. podcast you should check it out that was so bad I should still have a pet though I am I am not throwing well today at all it's not the disc it's me that was so bad I scooped it see if the wind will turn this for me I just gotta make a putt. Oh. Ah, that was so bad. <laughs> oh, my sweaty hands and not taking my time, man. I hit my chest. Gonna be out too. Get it. <laughs> oh, that would have been four under. That would have been four under. <sighs> All right, so that's how I did. But I'm I'm liking these discs. Like I'm really loving the like the Victor Two plastic. It's nice and stiff. Like I'm a more of like a stiff plastic kind of guy. So the fact that they like give you the option, either stiff or, or gummy, I love it. Probably the molds that I've like drived with the most is obviously the putter, the, the penny. It, it just feels very close and similar to my Luna. And it's, it's pretty warm out here and it's still holding its own. Like it's still slightly gummier than my, my Lunas, but my Lunas are like early run Lunas. And so they're they're more like the crazy tough ones. So the stock ones are a little more gummy now, which are probably they'd probably be gummier than this. The stock ones, uh, this is holding up pretty well. The other disc that I'm driving with really really well is this Texas Ranger. Definitely gonna make a video out of that. Like I, I love that disc. 
The armadillo, it wasn't as good for me for those longer shots, probably because I'm not used to throwing lids, but like for those shorter shots, this thing is just, just point and shoot, whatever you want. It's great. Probably make another video about that. And then their fairways are solid. Like I have the, the Dos Equis or Dos X. I don't know what there's, they say if it's copyrighted Dos Equis or not, but basically they're T-Bird. Solid, reliable disc. It's deeper than a T-Bird though. And then the Lariat, this thing is just awesome. It's almost like an Undertaker. Nice and shallow. How's it going? But yeah, this Lariat I'm really jiving with. It is a little shallow, so if you like shallower discs and you want something shallower than like an Undertaker era, this this is great. Great for a shallow. It's almost like a, it almost reminds me of like how shallow the like Emac Truth is, if that makes sense. So if you like the, the shallower discs, the Lariat is, is pretty solid. The one thing that I would critique about this, which part of it is the fact that the, these guys are only like two, maybe three years old, I think. I think they started in like 2019, 2020. I'll put the exact date here. So they're still pretty new. That They have just a, in my opinion, the gap that they have right now is in their distance drivers. Now these two discs right here are solid. They're great discs. The Warbird, the, the Bowie knife. I think they're missing just like a, a slightly slower speed, more stable disc. So like something like a, a Wraith type disc would just be killer. Partially because I just love Wraith type discs, but um, but there are so many times where it's like, there's a slight breeze and a slight headwind and I wanna crank something that might like turn a little bit, but then fly straight for a long ways before it gives me a nice little finish at the end. And none of these did that. They either these were, were meat hooks and just overstable. They're just gonna hyzer. They're not gonna turn at all, even in like a, a 15 mile an hour breeze. And then the curl is just very understable for me. It's not a tick, we're good. It's just very understable for me. So like even if I threw it on a hyzer, it just popped up, turned over, which is which is fine. It's not it's not a bad thing. It's just like whenever there's a breeze, like it's definitely not gonna fly straight in a breeze. Like definitely not. And I think that's just what they're missing is something between this. And and not, not only that, but all of these are just fast, like 12 speed discs. So this might be an 11 speed. The, yeah, the rim feels more close to an 11 speed than a 12 speed. Um, but it's just it's just too understable. I think they need something a little bit more stable and slower um, disc. But uh, again, they're probably gonna fill that slot eventually. Is, they're still a brand new disc company. Let me know if you want any reviews specifically about any of these discs. I'll be sure to make that video. Another huge announcement. If any of you saw Foundation posted about like the Creators Cup that's happening, a huge collaboration, a bunch of people are going. Well, I got an invite to that and I should be going next week. So if you want me to want to see some certain collaboration or anything, I should be getting down there early to make a few videos. So let me know in the comments what you want to see. And yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pumped. I'll see you in the next one.